Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor. Um, I thought we'd do uh, something different today. I thought we'd go back to basics and do a tutorial on the different ways you can fill holes of a mesh. So we're going to be using Blender 2.8 as its release as of today is just around the corner. So let's get started. So if we look at uh, this space here, the one of the easiest ways to fill this space, let me just go to vertice select, so select the two vertices and then press the F button and that will fill the hole of something like this. If we go to something a little bit more difficult like this cylinder and I'll just grab the edges um, if we press the F button you can see that it brings up a face like this which is no good um, realistically for games because it's just one solid uh, polygon um, so if we just go back and we press Control E and we go to bridge um, bridge edge loops you'll see also that that doesn't work so what we need to do is we just need to take two edges off so you've always got a gap in between and then try control E bridge edge loops and you can see it bridges the the edges nicely so if we go to something a little bit more complex than the last one and we go and grab our edges again so we get rid of that one and grab these edges if we press the F button you'll see it doesn't work whatsoever if we press um, Control E and bridge edge loops, you'll see again that that doesn't work. Um, so if we press um, Alt F, you can see there that we've got now uh, the hole filled in. If you come over here on the left hand side down at the bottom, you'll see we've got an option here called uh, Beauty. And that just, I think, tries and beautifies it up. But if we click on there, you can see now it changes the way it actually closes the hole. So I'm just going to leave that on. And finally, the last one, something like this, for instance. So if we just grab all the edges, like so, and we press F, you can see, again, it fills the hole, but it's one uh, polygon, which is no good. Um, if we just take off these uh, edges here, press Control e bridge edge loops, you can see it works that way as well. And the final way is we can leave it all closed, and press Alt-F, and it also closes that way. There is one more way of closing holes, um, but it just depends what you what you want to do. For instance, if you wanted to make this into a roof, um, all we would have to do there is we're going to node, click this node and this node, and then right click anywhere outside of here and click merge vertices, and you're going to get an option here, so where you want to merge them. If we click merge at center, it's going to merge them both in the center of the two points that you click, so we'll do the same on this one. And right click, merge at center. And there you can see now we've got a roof and it's also closed up the hole. And you can also go back and actually click on all these nodes, right click, merge at center, and you'll see now that we've we've made a triangle. So I hope that helps everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.